Undocumented mother is in detention and could be facing deportation this morning. Her supporters say her arrest violates an ordinance that underscores Chicago's commitment as a sanctuary city. Now they want answers and action. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live now from Chicago City Hall with more for us on this story. Hi, Mike. Hi, and right now a hearing is happening inside City Hall on the second floor. That is Alderman Danny Solis earlier filed a complaint with the Civilian Office of Police Accountability trying to determine whether Chicago police violated the welcoming city ordinance during a recent raid. But that was one of just many raids that happened over the weekend. I told my mom to, my mom to, to stay calm and told me to take care of him, even though he was being held against his will and they told him to hang up because he couldn't be on the phone any longer and they were going to take him to Wisconsin. That's George Barragon. His father was arrested in Little Village after a traffic stop. Now he's in Kenosha facing possible deportation. Barragon is a construction worker who's been here for 20 years. Now his wife and three children are desperate to know if they'll see him again. The three kids join about 7 million other young people who find themselves in legal limbo because either they or other family members are illegal and are facing possible deportation. Activists say that makes Chicago's welcoming city ordinance all the more important so that Chicago residents don't fear police the same way they do ICE agents. That they're only going after the bad hombres. What does she have to do with that? To pick up a mom who's been here more than 20 years, working, and all her children are U.S. citizen children, why would they target her? This has got to stop. There are laws in the city, there are laws in the county that say we will not cooperate with ICE or with Homeland Security, and we can't let this thing happen again. Now, some of the immigration activists are testifying inside city council chambers right now before the Human Relations Committee. Now, this afternoon, these activists plan to gather outside City Hall. They plan to lock arms and remain silent for seven million, seven minutes, rather, in honor of the seven million young people who find themselves in legal limbo. Now, the activists say as many as 80 people were arrested in Chicagoland over the weekend. We reached out to ICE to try and confirm that number and have yet to hear back. Reporting live outside City Hall, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron, Marissa? All right, Mike, thank you.